Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the multi box trace for objects node? Let's go ahead and run through our quick little example here. We hit play and we run around our existing node and we find our multi line trace for objects. Now, if we notice here, we're firing off. It's actually going through this cube I have set up here and it's colliding with the wall behind it. It goes through the wall and it's actually colliding again with the wall behind that. So, how have we set this up? Well, what we're doing is we're using the multi line trace for objects node. We can find that by typing in multi line, going to trace for objects. And how it works is basically it's going to take in a type of object, just like the line trace, but it's going to continue going through, not stopping, and it's going to give us back an array of the hit results rather than just a single one. Since we've gone ahead and we've covered the line trace for objects node already, we're going to just simply cover the differences between it and the multi line trace for objects node. So by default, the multi-line trace is going to come in like this. And if we try to compile it, it's going to require an object type. Now that object type is going to, of course, refer to the type of object that we are going to look for when we do our trace and what will basically be stopped and collided with. But again, unlike the regular line trace for objects, it's not going to stop at the first one, but it's going to return back an array with our values. So if we went, for example, and we did length, and we printed out our length right there. Let's always print out our length. Let's go ahead and just do that. And we'll hit play. You notice we have two as a result. We're hitting this first wall, and we're hitting the second wall. The walls, of course, are set up in my array and they're set up as the world static. If I went ahead and added something like my pawn and hit play, you'll notice it shows two. I walk in front of it and it shows four. And it's showing four because I am a pawn and I have the collision volume, the capsule around me, and then I have the actual mesh itself. Both are set up as pawns. That's why it's ending up colliding twice and it's adding two. But you'll notice it continues. It's not just stopping when it hits me, it will continue. And of course, when I move, it will adjust accordingly. And that's pretty much going to be it for the differences between the line trace and the multi-line trace. It's going to take in that type of array and it's going to put out all of the items that were hit successfully.